Okay, so we're doing something completely different today. I've got archery targets that are... <laughs> I don't even know if you can call them a target anymore because they're just shot to hell. So I ended up ordering some of the Smooth on. Uh, I think it's... Let me look. The 15 doesn't even say it on there. It is the Flex Foam 15 Tough Stuff Slow. This I got this on 3riversarchery.com. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this, but the funny thing is is... I have no clue how to do this, so we're winging it. So this is what it's gonna look like the first time doing this for you guys. So to start, this one we don't need right now. It is a one part of the yellow, two parts of the blue. We're obviously not gonna use the whole thing. So we got these little fancy mixing things from the hardware store. And then we also got these not so fancy mixing things from the hardware store, but we're gonna try this Super fancy mixing thing from the hardware store. <laughs> I'm telling you, we have no clue what we're doing. So, and it's hot in here. Um, the one thing that they say is don't do it when it's over 50% humidity, which it totally is, just to let you know. And then it says don't do it, I'm supposed to do it at room temperature, which is 75, which is totally not 75 in here. So, there's a high probability that this will not work? High probability. Okay. So, yeah, that's why we got the mixer thing. So, to start, this stuff expands at a rate of four times the size. And you're using my good bread knife? I'll sharpen your good bread knife. So I just want it flat because somebody had already done this before. So it expands at a rate of four times the size of when it's like liquid, I guess you would call it. So I am going to have to try to guess what that exact amount is. Supposedly, if you don't put enough in, you could always just do it again and like fill the last little bit, but I'd like to try to get it like perfect from the beginning. Now the stuff's not super expensive. There's a couple other companies out there, but uh, I don't know. I trust the stuff from Three Rivers. There was enough reviews on it. Wow, that is really shot out. Like really, really shot out. Okay, so you don't have to pick everything out. What I was told to do is poke a hole through the center of this and all this flex foam will actually bond to all this and make it stronger and fill in. That way you don't have to use the whole entire giant jar of it. Do you have to poke a hole the whole way through? Yeah, poke a hole through so that way, because okay. what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this in plastic. Yeah. And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna dump it through that little hole in the plastic. Okay. So it's gonna fall to the other side. Yeah, yeah, that makes but sense. But then you wanna kinda tip it back and forth. So that we kind of coats everything so it'll fill in all the little pockets and voids. Okay. At least that's what we're going to try to do as a mosquito bites me in my shoulder. But... Ow! All right, I'm going to poke through right here with your super awesome bread knife. No? No, that's a dumb. No? <laughs> there it goes. Try again. You're not actually mad that I'm using your bread knife, am I? Like, I mean, I saw you grab the bread knife and kind of knew it was trouble. But Darn right. I mean, it's a bread knife. Is that my hole? No, that's up yeah. high. All right, and then there it is. <coughs> Looks good. The whole way through? I don't think so. This is actually a lot bigger of a hole than I was thinking it was going to be, but... Oh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay. So any loose stuff, they say to kind of, like, pick off, like... That way it's not, like, going to chunk. There's my hole. Look at the mess I made. I'm sweating like a pig. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All of us are sweating like a pig. All right, Peaches, we are going to take this thing. All right, so look at this thing, honey. Okay. Because you're going to be the brains of the operation. Oh, jeez. So Failed this already. expands four times the size <clears throat> of this. Okay. So in theory, if you look at that, okay, mm -hmm. and look at the other side. Okay. Would you say if I did a quarter of this, I should be more than fine for this, right? What's a quarter of that? Um, because it's gonna. If I did a quarter of this, then pretty much it's gonna expand to the size of this. So maybe take a little bit more out to kind of give me some new freshness, and we'll do this like a quarter of the way up. I would do a third, not a quarter. What do I look like a mathematician? Like I'm gonna figure out how to do thirds of stuff. <laughs> well, how much is it? I don't know. 
Because keep in mind, it's not like a 50-50 thing. All right, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Deal? Where's the other knife? Well, if you're making it bigger, then bounce up to a half. Because okay. it's better to have a little bit extra, right? Well, yeah, kind of. But, like, I still have, like, 15 targets to do, obviously. Mm -hmm. I know this is not going to do the whole thing. Well, your whole, it, it's only expanding to four times the size, and you do a quarter of that. That hole's bigger than this. So then do half of this. I would do half. Should we get it to half? Does this look pretty good, then, for half? Or should I take out a little bit-ish more? I think you're good. Okay. And this side, should I kind of open this up a little bit, since this is a little old? It's up to you, if you want. Yeah, we'll take But now we're more. getting into maybe needing more. I think we'll be okay. Just kind of... Just to kind of give it a new smooth skin. How's that sound? Alright, how's that look? Beautiful. Good. Looks beautiful? Okay, honey pot, I need you to come over here. So, we picked up the cellophane wrap. I have no clue. I think we stole this from Jim. All right, here we go. I'm gonna hold this up, honey pot. And you're gonna tape around, that. tape around it for me here. Come and help me. All right, roll it all the way around. Roll it all the way up again to me. Yeah, and it's good and tight, right? Yeah. Okay, nice and tight. Probably, you know what, let's do this. There we go, that worked, right? right let's pull it super tight. You got it? You rolling? I'm so wet. I'm seriously soaked. All of us are. I know, I know. <laughs> we were supposed to do this this morning. Somebody got distracted going blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You. 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 Okay. What do you think? I think you're good. Now go the other way. You think I need to? Yeah, because you don't want it to expand out of these. True. You know. I don't need to go as many though, right? Oh, I would. Yeah? Yeah. It's not going to hurt anything. Well, I still need to have enough cellophane to do that giant bear right there, which the bear is going to be It'll like be okay. horrible. You know, the one thing that everybody said when I was looking this up and talking to people, like, you see how this one doesn't even have an insert in it? You can't buy this box thinking that you're going to do that the entire hole giant hole like you're gonna need so much so everybody was saying like have an insert in it so i have an insert for the bear it's just is it matter. like a different insert from no a different it's, animal? it's the correct original insert oh, okay. it's right down there oh, okay but it's uh it's toast so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put that in and i'm probably gonna make multiple holes in that one do you think you could save this and shove it into it people too? people were saying they were using it as filling like the extra? Got, yeah, they would take it and they would throw throw the stuff in there. Mm -hmm. But keep in mind too, though, if you use too much filler, this stuff is like super old and crumbly and junk. Yeah. So like, how much is that going to stop? Versus supposedly, mm -hmm. every review that I had seen on the stuff from Three Rivers had said that it is like better than uh, Reinhardt. You know, like the Reinhardt super soft guys. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're set, right? We're set. Now, we're going to poke a little hole here to dump in. Do you have and a funnel or anything? No, I'm just going to make a mess and get it all over me. And what they do is they, they do that and you dump in. And then we put a piece of tape over it when we dump. Okay. So, yeah. We're good. All right, so let's do some mixing. Lauren, you're going to help mix? So, before I make a mistake, this is A. Here, do you want to wipe no. that off into there? I'm not worried. I'm just going to keep going. So, honey, one part A. Okay. Two parts B. They say shake. We've been shaking it for a while anyways before we started. 
So okay. I'm going to go like this. So you're saying that we're going to go up to a half. I would do. Yeah. So let's do six of A. So we'll bring it up to the 12. No, this is going to be too much. And then 18. Well, four, eight, 12. Do you think that would be enough? 12 ounces? And that will expand four times the size of this. Mm -hmm. So 12 ounces, so it will be 28 ounces, no, 12, 24 ounces, 36 ounces is how big it's going to be. Okay. Do you think that's enough? Sure. <laughs> You're supposed to be helpful. I mean, I'm trying to be, but I don't know. I've never done this. So... So four, eight, twelve. Or we can go six, I would twelve, do, eighteen. I would do six, twelve, six, twelve eighteen. 18. Okay. All right. Oh, so this paddle bit thing. Yeah, I got that at the hardware store, and it looks pretty awesome. I'm thinking it's going to mix. So what everybody was saying, like, there's a chance of the foam collapsing because it wasn't mixed well enough. Mm. So I was like, okay, well, let me try a paddle bit. So let me get the paddle bit in there now. And you only have... It's not very long to, to do it. Like, okay. Well, I think it said to say? mix it for like 15 seconds or something like that. Like super hardcore. Really? Should I look again? Yeah. I should look. And you got those colors too, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got color. Um, Hey, what color am I doing in this? What color is your target? Well, the target is black, but the inside is brown. Well, do I got black. Dark, dark brown. I don't have black. I have dark oh. brown. I have tan. Then do dark brown. Dark brown. Yeah, I got these on Amazon. This is probably going to make everything not work correctly. Probably. <laughs> are they right. from the same company? or? No, no. The smooth what on stuff. What are these? I don't know. It was some janky dark. stuff that I found. Aluminite? It said it dark mixed brown. with the stuff. Hmm. And they also said, like, do, like, one <clears throat> drop. All right, so. Okay. Should I look up how long we have to mix for? Yeah. All right, I'll hit pause then. Okay. Okay, so the directions had said it's a good idea to mix the Part B. We've been shaking it for a while, but they're saying to mix it with a, a paddle mixer for a little bit to kind of get it. How long did it save? It didn't even save very long. It just says to mix it. Before. It just says to mechanically mix it. So mechanically mix the Part B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Part B in here. I'm going to put the dye in with Part B, mix it a little bit, get that color going. And then it says, then add the part A and mix that for a minimum of 15 seconds. And then get that bad boy into the form. It didn't have a maximum. It didn't have a maximum, but it says a minimum of 15 seconds. So we're How doing... How long is this supposed to take? Is this like it's an goes, instant? It's quick. I mean, it's slower than usual, but it's like, I can shoot it, they say, it after four hours. And it's like, you could touch it before. What does that say? Pot life is two minutes. Yeah, so we have two minutes to get that bad boy in there. That's it. Okay. So Should we set a timer? Nope. We're doing six ounces and six ounces. So it's 12 ounces of part B. And then we're going to do another six ounces to bring us to 18 of that. That's the game plan. Like I said, we have no clue what we're doing, which is kind of fun because, like, you guys get to see what it's really like when you have no clue how it actually works. We are not professionals. Yeah, honey. We are... You said that it's going to be really fast. Isn't this really fast? This is super fast. No, it's not. Okay, honey. You know your dad, honey, but... Honey? Yeah? Twelve. 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 It's white colored? Wow, this is actually going to use a real lot, by the way. Oh, no, it's not, because I have another container of this. Does your box come with two containers? Yeah, because it comes with one okay. of you the You should probably be measuring that on the table. Make sure you're holding it straight. I'm like a laser when it comes to square and level and plum, honey. Mm -hmm. I may not be a professional. Believe it or not, that was 12. So it's going to be half of that. So I'll get two targets out of this is what we're hoping for. Okay, so they said less is more with this stuff. So, yeah. Are you reading the directions, honey? Mm. No. Yeah, they said less is more, but I kind of want it dark, so should I go more is more? I don't know. One, you don't want it to two, mess up your... Three, four, five. You don't How's want that it to six? mess up your cure either. It's probably going to, because we have no clue what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> let me just let you guys know, we are not professionals. 
Like I'm not a is. professional, but I play one on social media. <laughs> <laughs> this is not gonna work. Are you ready? Ooh, this works. See, the stirrer looks The like stirrer works, works really nice. That totally did not change the color at all. Maybe it changes over time. Do you think I should just leave it? Yeah, just leave it. You can always paint it. Yeah, but when you start shooting the hell out of it. So I guess you can buy specific like stuff that actually was made for this. Hey honey, we got a problem. Now I can't see. Use your to paint stick and wipe the okay, sides. Yeah. a mosquito biting my foot. Yeah, this mixer is really nice. What do you think? That's plenty of mix, right? That's plenty of. All right, and we're going to set it down on the direction so we can never use them again, okay? That's probably a good idea. <laughs> ah! It keeps turning. This is a dumpster fire. We're totally deleting this video. Yes, honey. This okay. Is not fast. It's fine, honey. All right, so we're gonna use a stir to bring this down, so I can see what is going on. And we're bringing this to eighteen. Eighteen now. Bringing it to eighteen. I don't think that color stuff worked at all. Probably should have shaken it more. Yeah, it looks to me like the color, like didn't combine and we just ruined this whole batch, but cross your fingers for us. Mom. Yes, William. Okay, ready? To 18, right, honey? Mm-hmm. And then 15 seconds mix and then dump that Minimum bed boy in the form. Minimum of 15 seconds. Let me start counting. Start your engines. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna take 11, it a little bit past 15. 12, 13, 14, 15. Well, you hit your minimum. Five, four, three. All right, Drizzle. Please tell me this is gonna work. All right, by the way, you're probably supposed to wear safety glasses and avoid chemical burns and stuff, but Possibly I didn't- Possibly gloves. I didn't read any of the safety stuff at all. All right, we're gonna go for it, right? Oh, it's hot. It's hot feeling. Well, I'm sure there's a chemical reaction that's happening. I really hope this works. I'm gonna feel mighty stupid if it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, we'll just delete the video and nobody will know. Three rivers would be <laughs> like, how dare you make a video like this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here, do you want that too? I'm over it. You want that too? I'm over it. No tape? Tape. The worst thing is, is like, if it doesn't work, if it doesn't work, we won't be able to know what we did wrong either. I assume it would probably be the humidity and the addition of the coloring. Yeah, the addition of the coloring and all the other things, and the, the super hot Florida temperature, hence me sweating all over the place. Okay, ready? Oh. Well, that looks pretty. Oh, yeah. Well, it's flowing. Can I just go? You can go inside, baby. We we'll, yeah, won't be flowing. much longer. Oh, man, I really hope this works. So, yeah. and then that's it. Just kind of just keep wiggling it around and stuff. What do you think? Leave it this side up or leave it the other side up? I would leave it the cut side up because you don't want it to come out Good of that point. a little bit more. Blah, blah, blah. So, we'll get cooled off. Yeah. 
I'm super hot. All right. Yeah. Stay tuned for. We're only at seven minutes. Weather. Oh, seven minutes and forty-two seconds of just the second part. Just the second part. Yeah. yeah. But wait, there's more. You talk a lot. I try to talk to you. <laughs> while I'm doing this. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes, so I figured I'd come out and check this thing out, and honestly, it looks great. It uh, it set up, it filled the void, everything. The only thing that it didn't do is, I don't think I added enough color in. I don't know if this color stuff works properly or not. Like I said, it wasn't made for this product. We just found it on Amazon. So we're gonna try maybe on the next one with a little bit more. But yeah, it's pretty solid. Honestly, I'm thinking about cutting it open right now. And look at that. It filled all of the voids. All the little weird messed up, because this was the worst side. It filled all the little voids and everything real nice and tight. It looks good. It looks really, really good. So I'm going to give it about an hour. Um, probably should look at the directions to see how long it actually takes to cure. It's still running very warm. It's hot. So I guess it's the chemical reaction and all that other stuff. But I'm going to unwrap it in like an hour, and we'll go from there. But yeah. Can't beat that. Okay, so here comes the finished product. It's been a few hours. It's not hot to touch anymore. Um, would I shoot it right now? I want to, but I'm probably not going to. But uh, yeah, it looks good. The color is completely wrong. I botched the color. That uh, I just was worried. Like I said, you know, as I was doing this, all of the stuff that I had read on using that color from Amazon says a little bit goes a long way. They're full of it. I put a lot of it in the bear target down there, and the bear target is like perfectly matched. All right, here it is. Here it is. So rather than ripping right here. Wow, it really does grow a skin. I'm just kind of do a little trim ski. This knife is really dull. Let's go with this. There we go. That looks good. Looks really good. Breaker just popped over there for no reason. Let's see the other side. So you see, it does, it skins. Feel how it, see, it's even shiny. Mm -hmm. Is it like skins or something, they say? Oh, I ended up with a little bit inside there. No, we're good. Look at that. It really is nice. And feel it. It's like a Reinhardt. Feel how soft it is compared to, say, the rest of the Target. The Target's mm -hmm. old. But that, it's just like a Reinhardt Target. I wish the collar wasn't off. Now, supposedly, the paint that I guess it is on this is just a latex paint. So you get a flat latex, and you can paint this whole thing. Obviously, as it starts to wear, it's going to start showing there. But not bad. What do you think? Looks good. Do you want to so, open up your bear? Cost-wise, I looked it up on Three Rivers because I couldn't remember what the heck we paid. And I didn't want to be like, that's $20, but it's not. It was uh, $60, bucks, like $59 with free shipping. At least that's what it was at the time. So uh, it ended up costing me $30 per target. Um, the big one, it was pretty jacked up. So I had to use a lot in that one. We probably could have done three normal beat-up targets. Or like say like a three maybe even four normal um, inserts, but I end up having to use a lot on that one because it was all messed up. Can I open that one too? Sure, may as well. Yeah. Yeah. Let's set this one aside. Let's open it. Yeah, that one's not perfect because it was it was toast. It's like opening Christmas presents. Yeah, I should have I should have actually gotten some more of the stuff. God, that really did come out nice actually. It's just it didn't go as good on the back side. But the back side was like totally jacked. I had to like, cause the whole thing was cracked through here, honey. So mm -hmm. I actually had to wrap it like this, mm -hmm. wrap the whole thing and then dunk it. I think it came out good. It's not perfect. So in a lot of them Here, said, switch sides with me cause the lighting is yeah. all messed up. Okay. Did you hit pause? No. Okay. So a lot of people said that if you open it up and you're not happy with it, that you could just literally wrap it up again and like cut a little hole and you can do any spot that you think that you want to do over if it wasn't perfect. Yeah, this isn't too warm now. That came out good. I showed it in the video before how jacked up it was. All right, so I overlapped here, which is a little bit of a problem. I probably should have done a better job with taping. 
That's all right. But for $30 to have my targets, $30 per target to have them up and working again is pretty good. Because, I mean, what's a new target like this run? I just looked them up. This, uh, the pig target was like 400 bucks. Jeez. Yeah, I, I couldn't even believe it. And the bear target, I don't think they even make this one anymore. This one was like something close to its size was like $600. See, like, I overlapped. That's okay. I'm just going to trim it a little bit. So, it's not like I'm running, like, a IBO, like, professional thing. Yeah, see, I messed up with this. The way that I wrapped it, because it was such yeah, a big Yeah, well, you area. have a, you have, it kind of divots down in there, too. Yeah. It's all right. And then, yeah, I could probably trim this just a little bit. Right here with this. Yeah, that's not bad at all. It was because the way that I had to wrap it because the mm -hmm. whole thing was falling apart. All right, so that's that side. Like you see, honey, there's still a hole right here. You know, there's a pretty big, deep hole right here. Eh, whatever. But the rest mm -hmm. of it, this is where it was mostly toast. Mm -hmm. Let's see how the other side came out because I, when I mixed it, I wasn't sure if I exactly had enough. Let's see. This side did well. I still, oh, no, I have a big hole. Still right here. So like, yeah. So what what I'd end up doing is that I'd wrap it again. And get some more. And then I would probably pour here, and I'd probably pour here. Mm -hmm. But that's not a big deal. I mean, I knew it was a huge hole. It yeah. was it was gigantic. Did but you you used all of what we had? Too. I used all of it. Yeah. I did mix the original for that one, which was a perfect, by the way. Mm -hmm. But this one, you know, it was just so chunked up. I said, you know, let me just fill it and see what happens. But I mixed last. Um, the game changer. While we're here, and you see the color came out pretty good, right? Yeah, it came out. It's better. Decent. But that's a thick target too. If you look how thick that is, so just shooting mm -hmm. this side, it's more than fun. The game changer for sure was that. The paddle? Yeah, the paddle, which is a hide paint mixer. Mescalador de la pintura. <laughs> Four twenty nine. It was totally worth every penny. But that really did the big the big difference. I don't think I would try to mix it by hand at all because I did twenty seconds on this last mix. Mm -hmm. And as I'm mixing it, you can see that it was not like I'm starting to thicken up and well, well no, that you could see even after fifteen seconds of a heavy, heavy whip you could see the top of it was not perfectly mixed. So imagine sitting there trying to do it by hand. So mm. I think a lot of user error, we would have definitely had problems had we not trying to do the, the paddle bit thing. Mm. And yeah, the color, the colors, I don't know. I still don't know how I feel about that. I mean, that's, that's way better, but it's still not correct. Yeah, that's nice though, isn't it? Look at it. It feels just like a Reinhardt. How much of that did you use to get that darker on the bear? Instead of before I went drop, drop, drop for that one right the there. Pig. This one I went bleh, 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 bleh. That's what it did. What did you do? Bleh, 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 bleh. So like, I used a lot. Okay. But it didn't affect it. So I, well, I would use this stuff again, but understanding how much to use for it, forget it. I would probably go through one of the companies that actually knows what they're talking yeah. about. Did the color these. change at all? What do you mean? Like, is that the color it was in the container? No, it was a lot darker. Like, okay. it was like... like. But when it expanded, it, it was kind of this diluted dark, a little bit. And then bit. when it changed and it got the air in it, it turned to this. Okay. So you need to, instead of just a... I think that thing hung up because it says wrench. I mean, the thing is still flashing. Yeah, I see a picture of a wrench. Mm. I don't know. But no, it's okay now. <laughs> so, yeah, any questions, guys, shoot us a message. Be sure to follow us. Like I said, it is, here's the box, Smooth On. What is it? Flex Foam at 15 Tough Stuff Slow. That's a mouthful of marbles. That's as strange as the name is Omnivore's Homestead. But, yeah, you can get the stuff on 3riversarchery.com. Thanks for watching, guys. And be sure to check out our website, omnivoresquivers.com. Because we shoot so much, we kill our targets. That was dumb. Well, you are a dork. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>